Good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. Um, I am getting ready for the day by doodling again. I found a monthly challenge or list. That was a little flash of it. Um, it's from a homeschooling thing. A lot of them are like um, concepts. I needed something tangible to draw. This one was daisies. I picked daisies. I'm going to paint it. It's just something to play with and warm up. I'm warming up also by looking at this book that I got on Amazon. I bought it as a used book, so I think it was like a dollar. I usually don't pay that much for used books on Amazon, but I think more people are using it, so the prices are going up. Some of it is out there for me, but some of it is right up my alley. And I found my paper bag. And I'm also going to work in my Hobonichi by trying to catch up. Um, I stole some of my dad's post-its and kind of put the topics of the day from this past week and the end of last week, what's happened, and I will work on that. It is very close, this camera today. Can't get it close enough. Sometimes I get it too close. Oh, well. So one of the pages in that collage book had just squares. That appealed to me. Apparently it appeals to me a lot because I like quilting squares. I like, uh, yesterday I used squares. Today I'm using squares. Maybe I'm just a square. Um, who knows? Anyhow, I'm using scraps from my kit that I made up myself and tearing out squares, sort of, squares, freeing squares. Um, and I am not thinking, not going by any color code, just getting squares torn out of the scraps. Some of these pages and paper I've used a hundred times this month, but I'm going to stick to this because what's left is going in the trash from this use it or lose it kit that I made myself for this month. Um, it wasn't with Amy Curti, but it was pretty plain sight. I've gone through that box a hundred times that I found it in, but there it was last night right on top. So Amy must have freed it for me from the confines of that box. <coughs> Sorry. Anyhow, gluing these squares down, trying not to think, of where they're going to go on that collage book page. Um, granted, these are not nearly as artistic as that page was, but it gave me the concept. But I'm going to go in with some of these new metallic markers that I got from American Crafts and put, kind of like frame these very, very loosely, just scribble really. Um, I added a pumpkin just because I thought it could go. Once everything's down, you don't notice that it's round as opposed to all the other squares. Round square, round peg, square hole, whatever that's called. Anyhow, um, I do back up eventually. Uh, there we go. So now I'm taking the marker and just kind of, I don't really know if that adds anything to it, but it was fun. It was freeing, and that's what I'm doing. And um, the, the quote I have is something, and I'm finally using that Disney frame, and I thought, oh, I could turn it upside down and change it to whatever color I want. <clears throat> the quote I used is something about an artist in still lifes and choosing objects and finding joy in what you do, intuitive and methodical and da-da-da-da-da. So I thought, well... These are not still lives, but they're squares that are still now because I glued them. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But I did come across a ballerina out of a Christmas catalog that was from the Nutcracker. So I thought, well, she's kind of a still life. She's never she's never not in motion. And um, so we're going to use that as our still life from the word from the quote. An artist entranced with the still life genre reveals how he chooses objects and computes something in a way that both intuitive and methodical, that tables, anyhow. So here comes my still life. I took off her nutcracker so she doesn't scream Christmas and um, gluing her down. These are freeing. This is not supposed to be art. This is just me having art therapy and it works and it works and it works. And I do it over and over and over. Um, so I'm going to say thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Getting really excited for April. My concept may be crazy to most anybody, but I'm going to enjoy it. So that's what matters. So I do say thanks for watching. You might want to subscribe because I never know when I can be here and when I can't. 
and I was going to sew this, these inserts down to the cover, but I didn't bring a big enough needle or any of the supplies that I need. Oh, my sister might have cross stitch stuff here. <gasps> Don't tell her if I steal some of her thread. Anyhow, thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. And we'll see how everything goes. Hope you all are doing well. Bye.